Different continent, different country, different climate, different room, but same book stacks. Hello, I am back with another video of me sitting down and talking after saying that I wasn't going to sit down and talk in many videos because I'm self-conscious. I still am. I catfished you all because last time I looked pretty cute, but now I'm looking kind of looking definitely crusty. But let's just get started. So, in case you missed it, I read 35 books in the month of August, which is a testament to how crazy I am. But because I read 35 books in the month of August, I ran out of physical books to read in the middle of August. I was like, shoot, I gotta order more physical books because obviously I can read more books. I was wrong. It's the 7th of September and I have not read a single physical book. I have not finished any of them. I've started a bunch of them, but I haven't finished any of them, so joke's on me. But I ordered more books anyway, so let's get started with the haul. One of the things that I definitely wanted to do was get books that I really loved that I read digitally, um, either through audiobook or on my Kindle. So one of the first books I got was, of course, Patron States of Nothing, which I actually read in February, early March of this year. I listened to it on audiobook and of course, as you all know, I love this book. It's not an easy read. It's a very heavy read. It talks about some of the corruption that's going on in the Philippines currently and it talks about it from a privileged Filipino-American point of view. It's a diaspora Filipino returning to the Philippines um, after learning about the death of his cousin. As he learns more about the death of his cousin, he learns more about what's going on in the Philippines. It really sheds a light on the fact that us as Americans, especially Filipino-Americans, can be very, very ignorant to all the terrible things that are going on. I will have a link in my description below that will tell you more about what's going on in the Philippines and I highly suggest you guys check that out and try to support. Uh, the second book that I've already read that I bought a physical copy of is The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi. So I read this for a weekathon and I absolutely adored this. I think I had a few friends who didn't really like this as much as they liked Roshni Chakshi's other novels. However, I really enjoyed this. It had a very, I would say, Madeline Miller-like prose to it where it felt like a retelling of uh, classic mythology. I am very unfamiliar with Hindu mythology and I'm trying to change that, but going into this book I didn't know a lot about Hindu mythology, but uh, Roshni Chakshi confirmed that there are several stories in this book that were heavily inspired by Hindu mythology and that really came out in her writing and it was so beautiful and so interesting to read especially as someone who is unfamiliar with that mythology. But I just, I really love this. I'm so glad that I have a physical copy and I actually want to reread this rather soon so that I can annotate it and uh, mark all of my favorite parts. The third book that I got that I read earlier this year is Bunny by Moda Awad. Originally I think I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars but it has stayed in my mind ever since I read it earlier this year so I really should bump it up to a five stars. It's a dark academia book about essentially a cult of white girls in a master's program who do some pretty weird shit with some bunnies. I really like The Secret History by Donna Tartt and so I really enjoyed this as well. It's very nonsensical and non-linear. I just enjoy the weird uncomfortable feeling that it gives me. I'm very happy to have a physical copy of this and to be able to reread it in the future. The first new book that I got is From Twinkle with Love by Sonia Manon. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or if you just know me in general, you know that I love the Dimpleverse. The Dimpleverse is probably one of my favorite YA contemporary series, if not my favorite YA contemporary series. About a few weeks ago, I finished 10 Things I Hate About Pinky, which is the third book in the Dimpleverse. But there's also From Twinkle with Love that is a not a companion novel but within the same universe and also it's by Sonia Manon and we all know that I'm a simp for anything Sonia Manon writes. I was so happy that I was able to pick up this book and kind of complete my little collection right here. The size of the Dimpleverse books that I got. So these are the UK versions. I got the US version of From Twinkle with Love and it's just like slightly bigger, which isn't an issue to me, but not gonna sit as pretty on my book stacks. Honestly, I don't know a lot about this book. I just know that it's by Sonia Manon, and I pretty much worship everything she writes, so I know I'm gonna enjoy this, and I can't wait to read it soon. Um, the next book I got was another Roshni Chakshi book. It's Aru Shah and The Song of Death. I read Aru Shah and The End of Time for Weekathon, and I loved it. It was maybe the second or third middle grade book I read for Weekathon, and the second or third middle grade book I've read in years, and I 
absolutely adored it. I love the found family aspect of this and I love that it's kind of like going back into the Percy Jackson universe without actually having to touch Percy Jackson because I don't really fucks with Rick Reardon anymore. But the whole uh, modern mythology concept is in the series. The found family concept is really strong. Apparently all of the family members are girls, so they're all sisters, and I think that's absolutely awesome. I loved Minnie and Aru in the very first book, so I can't wait to see if there's another sister added in this book. Okay, angle change because my camera cut out. So the next two books that I got are from Book of the Month. And I know that Book of the Month is kind of sort of not really cancelled. It was pointed out, especially when the Black Lives Matter movement was really gaining traction again, um, that Book of the Month really struggles to put diverse books in their monthly subscription boxes. I never noticed that unfortunately, but I did hear that they had two books that I really wanted to read and they're by diverse authors. So I caved in and I bought August book of the month. The book of the month that I got for August is The Death of Vivek Oji. Um, my favorite booktuber, Seiji, the artisan geek, talked about this and she compared it to one of my very favorite books in the whole wide world by Gabrielle Garcia Marquez, who also wrote Love in the Time of Cholera and A Hundred Years of Solitude. The book in question is told entirely in the point of view of you which is called second person literature. So we usually read from either first person, which is I, or third person, which is talking about he, she, they, but second person is talking about you, meaning that the reader becomes essentially the main character, the audience is the main character. I don't believe this book is told in second person, however, I'm pretty sure that it's heavily influenced by that. It starts out with a death, and then kind of backtracks to figure out what that death is about. Unfortunately, I did not look up how to pronounce their name before filming this video, so I'm not going to try. The second book of the month book that I got is Severance by Ling Ma. I don't know much about this book, if I'm honest. I heard that it has like a pandemic zombie problem to it. Not gonna lie, I mostly got this for the aesthetic cover. It looks like a relatively short read, but it sounds very interesting. The next book I got is Janela Angelis's Where Dreams Descend, which is her debut novel. The sequel just got announced, and it's kind of crazy because I hadn't even received my pre-order yet. I'm really excited for this one. It's supposed to be heavily inspired by The Night Circus, which I had kind of mixed feelings on, but the concept itself is very, very intriguing to me. So I'm very excited to read this. I've heard lots of good things about it. And I have two books that are part of this haul that I don't have with me currently because they're downstairs in my mailbox and I can't reach my mailbox because I'm in quarantine currently. I'll put pictures of the covers here. The first book is Ray Bear by Jordan Flicko. A lot of people have been saying wonderful things about this book. It has found family aspect, a really cool magical system, and a very cool plot twist to it. Very excited to read it. Also, it has a gorgeous cover. Even if the book were to suck, which it doesn't, like everyone has confirmed that it doesn't suck, it would just be worth it for the cover itself. And then the second book that I got is The Star Daughter by Shveta Thakur and a lot of people have been saying a lot of really good things about it. Again, I kind of got it just because the cover is really pretty. I really wanted to support the author, again, reading more diverse voices. I'm very excited to get out of quarantine and get those books. And that is it for this haul. I don't know what else to say. Mac, what else do I say? You just add it as a footnote. As a footnote, I am currently reading three books that I pretty sure a lot of people on Twitter at least are raving about. So I started reading Jade City on the plane. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I tried to read it on the plane, but my first plane ride, which was 14 hours long, spent 10 of those 14 hours in the dark and I didn't want to be that asshole who turns the light on and reads while everyone's trying to sleep, so I didn't get to read Jade City much. I got maybe one or two chapters in, but I promise I will get through this. Um, I also started The Poppy War, which as you can tell I'm enjoying already. I'm buddy reading this currently with Paula from her book Thoughts and Len, another friend from Instagram. I am trying to get through it at the same pace as them. The buddy read is going well. It's baby's first buddy read and I'm excited for the rest of this book because I'm already enjoying the first few chapters so 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 much. So if you didn't know, I'm also part of the Caffeine Book Tours uh, Dethrone the Dragon Lord tour for the Ikisar Falcon. So I'm currently reading this. I'm probably going to finish this within the next few nights and I am very very scared because I have heard nothing but uh, emotional things from my other friends who have read this book so far. That's it. That's my 
bookish update. I hope I get through all of these books very soon. I'm very excited to read all of them and as you can see this is my TBR stack. I need to get through these books too. Thank you guys for watching. Um, again I appreciate all of the likes, comments, and subscriptions. Any resharing is truly appreciated. Hopefully I'll see you guys next week but no promises. Or I no. Janela Angelus is a debut, is a Philip. Bleh. Now you live in the land of not white people. Stop.